What's up, YouTube? It's Zato TCG here, and welcome back to another TCG battle video. Today, we're gonna be playing with Reshizard, but this time around, not with the abilities, we're gonna be playing a Green's build. Green's Exploration lets us get two trainer cards immediately from the deck if we don't play Pokemon with abilities, which is nice. That is the case in our deck because Volcanion is gonna be our main starter. With Flare Starter, we can get, of course, Fire Energies onto our Reshizard very quickly, but High Heal Blast also can take quite the punch against things like Jirachi or things that have 110 HP, for instance, a Turtonator as an example. This is gonna be a greens build. Uh, this is the first place winning list of the Campina special event in Brazil. So uh, we want to know what is special about this list. Well, we're not running any healing cards, no mixed herbs, no great potion. Instead of that, we're going very disruptive with four copies of Reset Stamp and four copies of Power Plant. A combination of these two will have you a great time, of course, against things like Mewtwo, against things like Picaram, against things like uh, <laughs> even the uh, Whimsicott if you come across that, but also against Ability Zard. So this is going to be a very nice way. Four stamps, four power plant. That is going to be the most consistent way to go. We're also going to be running four copies of Acrobike and two copies of the tag, uh, actually the Judge Whistle. That means we can draw a lot of cards, go very quickly through our decks and find those uh, yeah, stadium cards. And uh, also we can go very quickly and find, of course, our welder. Welder is going to be nice in combination with Flare Starter to get as many energies in play as possible and the Stealthy Hood protects us against things like of course the Nine Tails, uh, the Nine Temptation, Nine Tails and the build abilities are will try and ca target our uh, Reshes are down. Well that's not going to work out if we can get our Stealthy Hood and we do have a Green's Exploration build so that's nice. Green can also find you the Shrine of Punishment which you'll need against uh, Picaram because uh, that way we can one shot them with of course a Flare Strike. So this is going to be a unique way to be playing with, of course, the green Reshizard. I'm very curious to see how this deck functions without healing cards, uh, of course against things like Malamar and stuff. I don't know how it uh, has a great matchup, but Malamar has dropped off the radar a little bit, so I do uh, think that this has a great matchup against the most popular decks out there, Picaram, Ability Zard, and Mewtwo, so that is the way that this deck rolls. We're gonna see what opponent waits us on the other side of the world. The thing I wanna notice here is that this list also uh, is very high on the like uh, item draw cards, and things like Acrobike and the Judge Whistle. I don't know if that is the best way to be playing Reshizard or you can cut some of those and put some healing cards back in. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So in this particular sc uh, scenario, I do think we're facing off against probably Dark Box or Picaron if I see it from the uh, types. Could be Dark Box. We won the coin flip, which is nice. I think we're gonna go first. Maybe we draw into a Wilder on the first turn. We also have a lot of draw cards to go into those. Okay, looks like we have Fiery Flint, uh, which is very nice. We have a Cherish Ball to be finding that amazing Reshizard. And there's also Power Plan on the first turn. So that is not the worst hand in the world. I'm definitely gonna be using the Fiery Flint to be getting ourselves a lot of energies in the deck already. Okay, this is nice. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna be, firstly, I'm gonna be using Cherish Ball to be getting ourselves our Reshizar. That is the first thing I wanna do here. Also gonna see here what else we have to work with. Three Power Plan in here and Stealthy Hood in there as well. So three Welders. Hopefully we will be able to find a Welder or a Green. And next up, I'm gonna be using the Fiery Flan, getting rid of the Energy Spinner, which is not that great anymore. And also uh, Fire Energies, which we'll be able to recover later. Here we go, a lot of energies. We still have fire crystals, three of them in the deck, which is nice. So let's grab all these energies. Next up, he has a Ditto in the active position. So maybe attaching to the Volcanion is not too shabby. Let's see if we can get a Welder from the Poke Gear. And we do find a Welder, which is fantastic. That means we can Welder onto the Reshizard. And uh, that is definitely gonna be helping out, us out a lot. So we Welder onto the Reshizard, of course, bam. Here we have. Okay, we even have a green to follow up with that and an acrobike. So, acrobike first. And we find, yeah, the fire crystal. Definitely gonna be saving uh, saving that. Although if we find another uh, fire, actually another welder here, which is definitely gonna be helping out more. I don't know, I don't know. Do we need the fire crystal in this scenario? I'm gonna go for acrobike because I definitely want to be finding another welder here. Also gonna smack down the power plant while we're at it. We still have two uh, fire crystals left in the deck, so <laughs> okay. Shrine could help. We still have uh, another stamp in the hand, so we have shrine, which could help with numbers. And seeing as we don't find a welder this turn, I'm just gladly gonna attach to the Volcanion right here. Why is that? Because we can uh, uh, high heat blast this Ditto if he doesn't get it out of the active position. So with this, we're just gonna end our turn. The bad thing is that we didn't find a Welder, that means uh, Reshizar with the 300 damage here with the double blaze will not work just yet. The good news is we can manually attach, use a green to find of course 
a fire crystal and a welder and uh, starting from there we are definitely gonna have an awesome time to hit whatever is in the active position the good news is that power plant is already live that means he cannot rely on the denny so even if he has a terrible hand he cannot communication for the denny in this scenario unless he has an, uh, his own stadium card and this ditto will definitely go down thanks to a high heat blast which i love very much okay cynthia okay that's fine, I guess. Only one uh, Poipol. If we can knock this Ditto out, if he doesn't find a Sneasel, we should be golden. Ah, oh, too bad. He finds a Sneasel, which can ca cause a little bit of havoc. We don't have healing cards, so uh, if he can get, of course, that Dark Ryan Umbreon, Tag Team Jax out, things go could go wrong uh, very quickly. Okay. We can now attack on the first turn, so that's why uh, we're in this scenario. Two energies here, one energy there. Do we find a Welder? We don't find another Volcanion. Okay. I don't see any attacker whatsoever. So in that case, let's just first use the Green's Exploration. Definitely gonna be uh, getting a Welder. Could also get the Heat Factory to draw some cards. But definitely want to be finding the Fire Crystal as well. So we can definitely Welder next turn. Oh boy. Yeah, I think this is the correct play. Although, finding custom catchers next turn could also be nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the uh, Fire Crystal and the Welder from the green. Now we just have a manual attach of the turn. And we could stamp him or shrine, but that will not help us out this too quickly. So I'm just gonna bench another Volcanion. We do have a Welder in hand, so if he cannot find his Weave out for some scenario, we still have a way to go with that. So here comes the High Heat Blast. Dishing out enough damage to knock out this Ditto. So we already are ahead in price, in prizes. So we get Cherish Ball. Finding another Reshazar could help out. We have access to the Double Blaze GX. I'd rather want to save that to knock out a big Darkrai and Umbreon. So even if our Volcanion goes down, we can set up another Volcanion. Let it uh, yeah, <laughs> get knocked out and just set this guy up. We'll see, he only has Weavel, but Shadow Connection does not work with the Power Plant. So at least we have that going for us. So if he doesn't find a Stadium card, we should be good to go. A Lily for Tree, not too impressive. It's the same effect as a How or a Welder without attachment. So another Schneezel coming up. If he is not able to one-shot our... Yeah, is he able to do that? He needs three energies. He needs to find a Naganadel. And he also needs to bump the stadium card to get energies onto the Schneasel. If he doesn't do that, we can just manually retreat and go with a Flare Strike. Which is gonna be very disruptive for the opponent. Okay, he's just retreating into the Schneasel, which is fine by us. That means we can have a free Welder on this guy and we sh should be uh, good to go. He has <laughs> Fury Swipes? What's going on here? He's saving his um, uh, Weavel on the bench. So power Plant. Definitely showing the might here. Definitely going to be getting, of course, another Reshizard out of the deck so we can thin that out. There seems to be one prize, not that it matters though. We're also going to be getting energies from the discard pile back. <laughs> Only one. I thought he's definitely going to be knocking out our um, little Volcanion here, but nothing more was true. So we're just going to go with this. Here comes the Welder. Two energies onto this Reshizard. This Reshizard is looking very nice. We have Green's Exploration. This is nice. Uh, we also have stamps. The bad news is we don't have any energies anymore, so we're definitely gonna be finding like a f with the greens exploration. Did we already use fiery flint? I don't know how many fiery flints. I think only one. So uh, we're already heading prize cards, so that's good. And this wretch's art is already already looking scary as it is. So a switch card could help out to preserve energies. And he's still under the power plant, so if he doesn't find a stadium card, his Danny doesn't work. So that's why how I, I like this uh, kind of a list with four power plants showing the might. So Shadow Connection will not help in this scenario. He could get out, uh, in the best case scenario, he could get out Dark Ripe Prism Star with two energies and an attachment of the turn. That could get an attack rolling, but Volcanion will. Yeah, he just concedes. That's how awesome this Greens build is. Very disruptive with Power Plant. And uh, we're going to be playing another round here just for you guys. So you see the power of Greens, Rashid's Art, or you could say Stamp's Art with a lot of reset stamps in there. So even if you fall behind with this kind of a list, you have a way to come back. Power Plant Stamp. That's where it's at. Okay. Hopefully this time around we will start with a Welder in the hand. This list runs four Acrobikes and two uh, Judge Wishels. That means we have lots of uh, item-based draw. 
That means if we find a welder, we're good. We also run four Poke Gear. So four Poke Gear, four Acrobat, two Judge Whistle, and four Welder. We'll definitely find us ourselves the Welder first turn, hopefully. Looking for another opponent. So against Dark Box, we have a favorable matchup thanks to the Power Plan. So the Shadow Connection of Weavile not working at all. Now we're facing Grass and Water. I wonder what kind of a deck this is. Grass with Water. We're a Fire deck. Hmm... Again, we won the coin flip. We're gonna go first. If we go second, it's also good with this kind of a deck if you start with Volcanion. In this case, we do start with Volcanion. We have a Greens and we have a Poke Gear. So that is definitely not the worst hand I've seen so far. Are we gonna Green or are we gonna Welder for one? Hmm, I think in this scenario, it depends on what we draw. Okay. Okay. The opponent is Water and Grass. And uh, he's playing Tapu Fini. I am not afraid of Tapu Fini at all. In this scenario, I think even if we find a Welder from this Poke Gear, it's not good. So I'm gonna Greens first. And what will we need? We need... Uh, Fiery Flint. Or maybe the Heat Factory in combination with a Welder. Is that even a bad thing? We could get Donked as well. So maybe getting out a Reshizard. We still have a Poke Gear left in the deck. Hmm. Will we be able to find our Welder? There's only three Welders in there. Oh boy. Maybe Fiery Flint is better? Fiery Flint, thing out the deck and then see how we go from there. I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this method. We don't ensure the Welder, but at least we are gonna thin out the deck uh, immensely. So let's get his Reshizard on board. We're also going to be using the Fiery Flint. I'm going to get rid of one Fire Energy. And do we get rid of the Switch? Or do we get rid of the Stamp? Or the Shrine of Punishment? Hmm. I wonder. I think I'm going to go for the Stamp. Since we have a lot of Stamps to go for it. Uh, as seen from the deck here. Reset Stamp. There's still three of them in there. So I think that's fine. Let's get all these Energies. We're going to plant the opponent immediately. To see if we can... Somehow managed to stop him. I'm not gonna go with power poke gear just yet. I'm just gonna top deck the next turn and see how uh, it works out from there. So for now, I think I'm just fine with just a manual attachment on the benched Reshizard. We could find a Welder and then immediately respond with, of course, a Flare Strike. We do have Switch in the hand, so I think that that's good. Since we are going first, we have immediately a target to go with. Grass and Water. I wonder what we're facing. Poke gear. With the reason why we're not using Poke Gear just yet, because we have a top deck in combination with a Poke Gear of seven. So you're digging uh, actually eight cards into the deck. Okay, this is Rowlet, Rowlet, and a lone executor. That's I don't know how this matchup goes. Let's see here. Poke Gear, bam, and <laughs> we find nothing at all. Boy, not what I wanted to see here. Not what I wanted to see at all. Okay, he could have a weak guard energy, which could cause a lot of trouble. We could smack down Shrine immediately to be uh, poking some damage. I don't know if this list runs on uh, abilities whatsoever. Hmm. Oh boy. This is not looking too good. Yeah, let's smack this down and go for... Wow, a Poke Gear whiff. Are we gonna lose to this kind of a list? Who knows? Actually, we go we dish 300 and go to any effect. So if we manage to find a welder or whatever, we should be golden. This guy can also not attack. He's definitely gonna retreat and stuff. And if he yeah, that's a manual attachment grass. That's good. We have the switch in hand. We have the energy. We could go with double double blaze going through this kind of Pokemon. Okay, he's just setting up easily. So in that scenario, we could go for the GX move already. Boom. We only dish out 110, so that is definitely not what I wanted to see here. Ugh. We could knock this guy out, but setting up is definitely going to be better in my in my book. Don't want to be hitting that Tapu Fini. The Tapu Fini is just stuck. It cannot do whatever. I think I'm going to go for the Flare Starter once more. Just got to manually set up. I don't want to be smacking some damage onto this guy. We have four energies already. So that means one welder will do the trick, so he can set up whatever he pleases. So communication. Swadloon, probably gonna be seeing that... Seawaddle? 
if I had to guess. He could manually retreat, but we have the switch in hand. If he doesn't find the weak guard energy, we should be golden. Okay, Shaman, healing some damage. We already have four energies attached. Okay, there is the weak guard energy as predicted. That means we need to dish out 270. Oh boy, this is gonna be crazy. 270 damage. We have the shrine in hand. So even if he, he reduces the damage by 40, that means we can just shrine and KO this guy. Just gonna let him set up. He can do whatever he pleases. Not afraid of it too much. We have the welder. This welder is actually very nice. So we welder. Bam. Onto the Reshizard. We even have fire crystals and all that. All right. I think a switch is in place right now. We have an attachment of the turn as well. Six energies. We even have fire crystals if we get knocked out. So this shrine will actually help out a ton. So for now, we have the flare strike, which should be enough to just evaporate this Tapafini. Getting a prize card and we can go 300 here. 300 damage on this guy. Your opponent shuffles all energy from all of their Pokemon into their deck. Okay, he still doesn't have that amount of energy, so that is good. <laughs> that would be very nasty, getting rid of all of our energy. So this is a uh, Tate and Liza. We do see another one of those huge I'll roll Rowlets. Hmm, what now? Calming Hurricane, bam. He heals a lot of damage, which is irrelevant. Okay. 300 damage can go through this guy. What do we need? First things first, it's a Judge Whistle. Drawing a card. This is never bad. We have another Vulcanian, so these Vulcanians are stacking up. In Green's Exploration, next time we stamp him after we are gonna set up. We need a Welder for next turn. We are also wanna be ahead of having a Cherish Ball. Yeah, Cherish Ball. So we can get the full attach. He needs a weak guard energy afterwards and otherwise he will be done for. I think this is gonna be the way to go here. We cherish ball, get another one of those out. Hmm. Or double custom catchers. Could also help out. I think I'm gonna go for this scenario. Getting these out. Cherish ball as well. Bam. Oh boy. Do we use Fire Crystal right now? I don't know. At this point, let's just smack this down. We're gonna welder and attach later, so that's gonna be fantastic. We'll see how we go from there. So here comes the Double Blaze GX, 300 damage, boom. The other one doesn't have a weak guard energy, so our we are definitely prepared, even not another Welder from the prize cards. That's a tag team, we get three prize cards and uh, this is fantastic. He could somehow miraculously have counter gain and attach of the turn, but I don't think he's gonna be running that. Could happen though. If he knocks us out, that's good. We promote Reshizard, we uh, Fire Crystal, Welder, and then attach of the turn and boom! That's how this last works. So definitely let me know what you think about Green's Reshizard, how well it is positioned in the meta game right now. Screw the healing. Malamar isn't around, and I guess Malamar you're gonna have a, a yeah a little bit tougher matchup nowadays. But with four power plan and four stamps, you're gonna have to have a great time against any tag team whatsoever. Anyhow, let me know what you think about the list in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to demolish the like button, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.